February is American Heart Month, and we are all wearing red or pink today to really to bring awareness about heart and he having health, healthy hearts, particularly for women. As the number one killer of women, we thought it was important to talk about heart disease this month, particularly in February, which we will talk about a little bit later with a fabulous guest that we have on. Yes. Wonderful. But uh, we're going to go right into our hot topics. So, so take I guess it away, well, Cammie. I think the, the thing that we really have to talk about, especially being moms, right? And having, yes. and having oh. girls. We all have girls. Dr. Larry. Don't Nassar. even call him doctor because he should just. We should just strip the doctor. Yeah, we should. Like disgusting, right? right. Up to 175 years. Yeah. He already years. originally got 60 years just for child pornography. For the child pornography From the federal charge. charges. Yeah. And um, now, did you just hear recent news that the Michigan state, state president, she just stepped down. Which yeah. she should have she stepped did. down she a has, long time ago. She should. She what an embarrassment. Course, absolutely. They knew all right. along that he was she said, doing Of course, they're going to point fingers at people now. Yeah. But it, was, it, got, it went so on way sad. too long. Right. I mean, how and many girls, what did they say? Now they're up to 150. 156. Yes. Yeah. And and the youngest was twelve. And parents were in the no, room. No, I think the yeah. youngest I yeah. heard was yeah. six years old. Oh, oh, oh really? my gosh! Yep. Mm -hmm. And to hear some of the girls' testimonies, yeah, it, it's Absolutely. heartbreaking. You know, what boggles honestly. my mind is that they, they said how he groomed the children and the parents to trust him. Yeah, because many times the parents were in the room. And he, they said that he right, stacked right. blankets to and block. He blocked. And blocked himself yeah. Yeah. in his body between so the parents couldn't see anything. And it is about it's about trust. It's about gaining the kids' trust. Yeah. It's about gaining Absolutely. the parents' trust. Mm -hmm. and he, yeah. he was a USA gymnast coach mm -hmm. and uh, doctor. Right. So everybody thought he was the best of the best. Right. So they, they, were, they didn't they question, question, yeah. question him. To, to be and seen. you're a young child. You, I mean, there was one that te she testified that she, her parent or mom didn't believe her. Yeah. yeah. Because her that. sister had gone through I know. this doctor. It's so right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Allie Raisman, I loved how oh, yeah. fierce she was. All of them. Testimony. Yeah. All of them. So and did you hear very, the judge, what she said? Oh, yes. yes. The first thing out of her mouth love it. was, you just signed your death sentence. Yes. I was like, good yes. for you. And I think she, she uh, at the end she said something like, and when you're done with the federal, then you have my time. Mm -hmm. And then didn't she, she's like, drop the paint. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. The whole, just the whole way it was. I mean, it's but so many, so many. It's just so sad how long it went on for. Right. Also, and this year, was never you know, twenty years that he was there, disgusting. thirteen years. And these, some of these girls were adults. Those claims, yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now they are going to launch surprising. their own th third party investigation, right? Yep. So they're Michigan gonna, State is going to do their own, yes. and then the NCAA is yes. going to investigate because right. they do all the collegiate college stuff yep. on mm -hmm. on sports. And so I had asked Carol with her lawyer hat, what yeah. happens to those young adults, children, women now, do they have any kind of compensation there's coming to them? There's civil suits. From my understanding is there's a lot of civil suits going on. Yeah. And they'll, so they're going to sue the university. They're going to sue everyone. They're going to sue the university. They're going to sue USA Gymnastics. Gymnastics. They're going wow. to sue Larry Nassar individually. And now what they're happens was I read everyone. that um, a couple of them are, are talking about they're still getting billed. Yeah. From oh, the from the right. And the they system. were assaulted. And they're still paying And bills. you know what? The, at the end of the day, if you watched any of those court mm -hmm. hearings, he didn't even seem sorry. He didn't even. Oh, he was crying. Well, first of all, I don't buy that. Yeah, no, yeah. I think yeah. that was all. No, 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 I do too. Yeah. Because did you guys hear about the letter that he wrote to the judge? Yeah. Saying that he He's, doesn't want to. Because yeah. yeah. it's too yeah. much. Yeah. I well, can't that's too. Sit through these. And I'm like, yeah. really? Right. Yeah, I don't buy that. Yeah. Right. And then the judge, very well spoken, said, "Sorry, but you can sit through a few days of these women telling them, telling everybody what you did to them right. after you've done all of these things to them for years." Yeah got pleasure from it, you can at least listen to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hate to say it, and I don't want to label people at all, but he looks creepy. Yeah. He just yeah. looks creepy. He does. Yeah. <laughs> he like does. He looks disgusting. And you know what? He, he looks what's like coming to him. And I was talking to Carol earlier when we were getting our nails done. When he goes to prison, there yeah. are, there, there's like a hierarchy oh, in yeah. prison yeah. also. Yeah. Especially yeah. having yeah. kids, there's people in prison that just do yeah, not Yeah, he's the yeah. bottom okay. of the bottom. So, yeah. So, so um, huge, huge topic, huge, right. awful. huge issue. And we'll still be hearing a lot of it because everybody's going to be going, going down. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and I know Lori. So I have problem. another, it's not as creepy as this one, yeah, but it but is kind of like cringing. It's the flu. We're suffering from a widespread spread flu epidemic. Right. And it's just, it's affecting so many people. It's affected 444 positive reports of the flu in Connecticut since January 1st. And people are dying. Yeah, right. People are dying. Yeah, There's is, been deaths. Yep. The young boys that, it just, it, it affects young kids and then um, the elderly, elderly people with chronic illness. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and so like we're right in the midst of it. It's January is the peak of the flu. Of the flu. Yeah. Right, right. So, so wash your hands. So, so that's like, they're saying, the CDC says um, the the prevention, the primary prevention of the flu is to get your flu shot. And then they're saying there's all that controversy with the flu shot. 
saying, um, you know, there's so many strains that, yeah, but can you I know, just people say, that got the strains in October. But can I just October, say, the people that say they don't get a flu shot because of that reason, yeah. what is it going to hurt to get the flu, get the flu shot? shot? If it might help. And it's not too late to get the flu shot right now. There's so not get side the flu effects shot. unless you're allergic to and it. And my question is this. Is this it. a different strain? Is this it a is. different strain that they've not seen before? Well, and that's why it's so, it's so uh, fatal right now. Right. I mean, I, I think I saw on Facebook yesterday, someone was sharing a story about a little boy who died. But what kills me is parents send their kids to school when they don't feel well. Right. And, and then they pass saying. along. Keep yes. your kid, keep, stay keep home. Keep your you're kid sick, home. But even as an adult, I know it's an inconvenience sick, sometimes. Home. No one wants you at work with and the And the big thing with the flu, too, is if you're not getting better, go right to the hospital because right. you don't wait. Don't wait. wait. Don't wait. Yeah, yeah, question, all of this, yeah. quickly. Have any one of you had the flu in your life? No. 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 Okay. I have had the flu, and I literally almost died. And I'm like, could it move for like a solid week? And so ever since then, I swore I would always get the flu. And I do. And my girls get the flu shot. Right. Yeah. Uh, my husband does not, but you know. Neither does mine. I don't know why. He just never, never has, and so. Well, so stay healthy. Yeah, stay and healthy. Wash your, hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Speaking of healthiness, we we'll be are right going back. to be right back with our wonderful guest. Welcome back. We are here with Dr. Anita Kelsey. Welcome, welcome, Dr. Dr. Kelsey. Welcome. Nice to have you. Dr. Kelsey is Associate nice. Chief of Cardiology at St. Francis Hospital, and Medical Director of the Women's Heart Program. Um, a unique funded program that seeks to reduce heart disease in women through free cardiovascular risk assessment and education. And we thought, what a great month to have you on. So welcome. Thank you for having me. We're a sea of red yes. and pink tonight. I like it. Yes. <laughs> but uh, we'll just jump right in if that's okay with you. So do. tell us, can you tell us a little bit about the, the heart program at St. Francis, the Women's Heart Program? What's that all so about? In 2006, we got a grant to try and reach women, especially women who are underserved. So they may not have enough health insurance or they may not see doctors regularly to educate them about the risk of heart disease and to teach them how to prevent it. And so we've gone out into the community. We've seen since then almost 11,000 women. Wow. Um, we have a team of uh, exercise physiologists, registered nurse, registered dietitian, and uh, some of them come to the hospital for these classes and sometimes we go out in the community. So anywhere where groups of women meet We'll bring our you go little to them. tool pack, oh, yeah, wow. and our team. Yes. We'll do blood pressures, body mass index, uh, waist measurements, and then we'll teach them how to reduce the risk of heart attack. Now, I mentioned earlier in the segment that it's the number one killer of women. Is it still? Is heart disease still the number one? Unfortunately, it is. Wow. It remains. But do you think women know this? Is that why so, education is so? Uh, so I wish women knew it better than they do. Right, so, I think it's a misunderstanding. Right. People think heart disease is a man's disease. Right. Absolutely. Or absolutely. because I, I exercise, or I eat healthy, or I don't drink wine, I'm okay. You might drink wine. So when I was in training, when I was in medical school, we were taught it was a man's disease. It certainly happens 10 years earlier in men than it happens in women, but it still remains the number one kill killer of women worldwide, more than all other types of cancers, more than malaria, more wow, than TB, you know, worldwide, it remains wow. the number one killer for women. And so there's a lot of things you can do to prevent it. So 80% of heart attacks can be prevented. And 80%. so there's a lot, there's a lot we can do. So what are some of those things? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So tell. Tell. please don't tell us it's not don't drink red wine. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're, we're in the other we thought, we thought wine was a little bit heart healthy, a little bit, right? It is. Okay, it is a good. little heart healthy, actually. So um, uh, wine has the skin of the grapes. It has resveratrol. It may prolong life. Okay. And uh, it See? might favorably longer. affect yeah. your cholesterol. <laughs> we don't normally oh. recommend wine because grape juice would do the same thing. <laughs> right. And so, no. um, since but wine is a, an alcohol, <laughs> so no it has wine. other bad effects. Right. So, right. Oh, so yeah. we don't generally sugar. recommend wine. But we recommend a lot of other important things, especially in the Women's Heart Program. So we'll go out in the community and we'll take women's blood pressure because blood pressure, of course, is an important risk factor. We call that the silent killer. People think they're going to have symptoms if they have high blood pressure, but they don't. And so, they don't silent, so there's no symptoms. You could be running around high with high blood pressure. pressure. And you don't even know about it no. until you go. Right. Well, yeah. Well, I was just thinking, what, what about the silent killer? They, you know the cholesterol level. You've done all the tests. But you still hear stories where they didn't catch it. Right. So yeah. what about that? So um, it, it turns out sometimes that people can have heart attacks without symptoms. And... Sometimes they can carry risk factors for many, many years that no one's taken care of. Like 
you wouldn't know if you were diabetic necessarily just sitting here, but if you have a blood test to look for blood sugar, fasting blood sugar should be mm -hmm. less than 100. Mm -hmm. And so you should know your numbers. You should know your blood pressure number. You should know your sugars, your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. You should know your cholesterol numbers. And the best you can do is get them as low and as in the right zone as you can. Have a good healthy body weight, eat right, exercise daily. Yes, I got that checked. <laughs> And then, you know, we worry about genetic risk on top of that. Right, so, you right. know, if everyone in your family has a heart attack at the age of 30, you might be Heart's at higher risk than someone else whose right. family never had heart attacks early. We don't have the genes. You, know, you can get um, genetic testing for mm -hmm. yourself now. But we don't know the exact genes that are going to predict everyone who has heart disease. Mm. But if you know that everyone in your family had heart disease early, then you might be at higher risk. And what could you do to help those? So advance. all the same things. Okay. So don't be afraid, for instance, many women are afraid of statin medicines. If your cholesterol is high, you should take what your doctor recommends right. to lower it, either a statin medicine or some other medicine like zetamide is another mm -hmm. medicine that reduces cholesterol, mm -hmm. and it will reduce your risk. And we know that you know heart healthy diet and exercise can even turn off genes that might put you at higher oh, wow. risk. Okay. So really? just That's doing so the right things can turn off the genes and, and put you in a different risk category. Mm, right. I've never found a woman in all these years um, who doesn't have at least one thing that she can do to reduce her risk further. Even myself, I could exercise a little more. Right. But 30 minutes every single day, mm -hmm. a brisk, moderate to brisk pace, something that increases your heart yeah, rate. Mm -hmm. You can dance, you can swim, you can walk, you can get to the gym and do exercises. It's the every day. It's the Every day. And it also is how long you're exercising and bringing your heart rate up. So if you're only doing it for one minute at a time, not going to get the cardiovascular okay. benefit. So a minimum of 10 minutes. So you're all working moms, right? Correct. And so the most important thing is to incorporate some of these things into your daily life. So 10 minutes, we can all get 10 minutes. Right, yeah. absolutely. So if our families allow us those 10 minutes to go take a nice walk, then right. you go right. take a little walk or you sneak it at lunchtime from right. work. Right, right. Make you, the time. That's you what we talk about yeah, a lot. We always do. Make, Make the, the time, time for, to, for the yourself. We need to and do. then, you know, a quick question for the exercise piece of it. They mm -hmm. always talk about if it's really good to get your heart to go up and then to plummet. And then to go up and to plummet. An Absolutely. exercise world. Why is that? Is oh, it it's, it's so interesting. So your arteries are like these long tubes that provide blood flow to your muscles. So now I'm going to exercise and these muscles are going to ask for more blood flow. And the way your body does it is by dilating the arteries okay. while you're exercising, okay. and it brings a lot more blood. As soon as you stop exercising, the arteries come back down right again. Down. Oh, okay. So I, um, especially for high blood pressure, I equate that to a credit card being very, very stiff, right? But if I bend it back and forth, you know when I'm too lazy to right. get a pair right, of right, scissors right, right. to yeah, it breaks. cut it up? Right. It breaks. If you can tear it with your hand. So too with arteries, as we get older and we are at higher risk for heart disease, then they get stiffer and stiffer and stiffer. And doing this exercise ah, every day keeps okay. them very pliable. I never understood what the reason was behind your risk. it. Okay. Yeah. And sense. for longer and longer periods of time after you exercise, your blood pressure is lower and lower. And the lower your blood pressure, the lower your risk. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. I know my mother-in-law yeah. has really yeah. high cholesterol. She's a vegan. She is the healthiest person you can meet, but it's in the family. Mm -hmm. And she takes the medicine, da you know, daily. Her son has it. My husband does not. But she is <coughs> exactly what you said. If she didn't do all the right things, mm -hmm. she'd be she at much, would. much higher risk. Yes. Yeah. The fact that she's still here right. tells right. you that she's doing it. Yes. The one thing we didn't mention is smoking. Yeah. Yeah. But you're still seeing. Yeah, you're still, yeah, seeing, still a seeing a lot of smokers. Wow. Yeah. And so smoking increases your risk in a lot of different ways. But one of the ways is inside those arteries, there's this beautiful thin layer of cells that protect you from that plaque buildup, the thing that causes the heart attack. Okay. And smoking can um, irritate that and destroy those cells so, so that like the no plaque can build. Lining. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. And especially now with the vaping that the kids oh, are doing, yeah, those people are doing. A lot of that. We don't even know what is that is doing what to our bodies. What the long-term yeah. outcomes yeah. yeah. or effects will be on that. Yeah. That's yeah. Interesting. interesting. And what about stress? How does oh. stress affect heart? Particularly working moms <laughs> who seem to... We're under stress. <laughs> We're under stress and we get no sleep. <laughs> How does stress and no sleep? So, yes. so stress does a lot of things. So when you're under stress, your heart rate goes up. 
that's not necessarily good unless it's while you're exercising, you know, to open your arteries. So um, your blood pressure goes up, also not good. I'm telling you how mm. important high blood pressure is to right. get your blood pressure low. So every time you're stressed, I always think of the person who's driving a car getting really mad at all the drivers around them. If you're under a lot of stress, all those things are happening. And you can even get this sensation in the middle of your chest that mm. you're having a heart attack. Um, so you get this pressure in your chest just from stress. Mm -hmm. And so those are all the things that contribute to heart attack. There's this other syndrome that can happen also more often to women than men, nine out of 10 times to women. It's called Takotsubu's cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a type of heart attack that happens in the throes of a very stressful situation. And so a woman who might be at her husband's wake can have this very stressful moment, feel pressure in her chest, rush her to the hospital, and the blood tests show that heart muscle has died. We rush her to the cath lab and take a look at her arteries, and the arteries are perfectly clean. So you can have a heart attack in the absence of that plaque that normally builds mm. up and causes heart and attack. And can someone, I mean, can they, ha can they have this and not even know that they had? Well, you, you would probably have a Just symptom. Like feel that. So sometimes they're not minor. So when they have these kind of heart attacks, okay. So this, this name Takasubu comes from the description of an octopus trap. So the heart is this lovely muscle that beats, you know, all day long, mm -hmm. right? And it squeezes to a very small size. And so when someone's having one of these type of heart attacks, only the base of the heart moves and the rest of the heart balloons out. So usually more than two thirds of the heart is affected. Oh, wow. And in some people, they get better. In some, they don't. And uh, it can put them at risk for dying. And speaking of the heart attacks too, like what are some symptoms? I mean, I know we've, mm -hmm. we hear about some of the symptoms. So what would be like the top five symptoms if you're going to have a heart attack, if you're having a heart attack? Yeah, because you want to know that because you want to get yes. to care quickly right. Right. so that we so can stop the thing. heart attack. And it's so pressure mm -hmm. in the middle of your chest mm -hmm. usually feels like an elephant sitting on your chest, goes down your left arm, comes up to your jaw, and comes on when you exert yourself, is relieved by rest. Okay. In women having a heart attack, six out of 10 will have that symptom. But so pain in the left arm, that to me would be like, okay, I'm having a heart attack. Right pressure now. in the chest and down the arm. And what about the back? The back. Yeah. They talk about the back. Yes. How does that so play into the it? rest of the women, 40% of women and a percent of men, but lesser percent, will have some other symptom. And okay. I always say mm. it can be your heart racing mm -hmm. or just a feeling like you can't catch a breath, shortness of breath. Right. It can be arm ache in both your arms or pain in your back or uh, like uh, indigestion, like mm -hmm. a funny My mother-in-law uh, had a heart attack and she vomited. Yep, so nausea and, and, and they vomiting. rushed her to the hospital and that's mm -hmm. what she was having. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so all those symptoms, those, we call them atypical symptoms. Mm. So, um, you know, you worry, I'm getting a right shoulder pain, is this a heart attack? Right. So how do you know and when do you call the doctor? Right. I say if it's something new between here and here, pay attention to it and tell your doctor and know how many risk factors you have and know how suspicious you right. should okay. be that it is a heart yes. attack. And after you see your doctor, they'll tell you if it's your heart or not. Is age a factor? I mean, would you mm -hmm. say like women uh, over 50 are more susceptible, or women are over 40? Or So the average age of onset of heart disease in women is around the age of 65. Oh, okay. The average age in men is about 55. Okay. And but so you still hear as women we get older, our age that are having heart attacks. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it happens to very young women. Right. And heart attacks can happen for a lot of different reasons. Right. And I've also heard something, and I don't know if it has to do with heart attack or something else. If you think you're having a heart attack, an aspirin? Yeah, so. Is there some validity to that? A yeah, aspirin breaks up the clot. You know, when the arteries mm -hmm. are, when they're going to have a heart attack, the artery has this plaque in it, but a clot is usually the thing that obstructs the last little bit of blood flow. Okay. And so when the whole artery is plugged up, then the heart muscle beyond it that's supplied by that artery dies. Right. And death of that heart muscle is what we detect on those blood tests, and that's how we know it's a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't die if a part of your heart muscle dies necessarily unless you have an arrhythmia. Some people die during the throes of a heart attack because the electrical system of the heart goes a little haywire mm -hmm. and they have an arrhythmia and they die suddenly. That's why we want AADs in schools and we want AADs in public buildings and we want mm -hmm. people to be able to rescue yes. someone who may have an arrhythmia wow. right. and can be saved. But I heard what Carol said though, my grandfather used to take an aspirin, a bear, every morning. Yes, yeah, so it breaks up the clock. The yeah. aspirin so breaks up the clot. It out the blood too, right? Yep. It's yeah, it, blood it prevents <laughs> clots from forming and it breaks up the clot that's in the artery. Mm -hmm. So it can so, help. Right. Yeah. Aspirin can also cause bleeding though. It's not for everybody. Yeah, so right, you should ask right. your doctor. So some people are at higher risk of bleeding and shouldn't be taking it. Right. Mm. 
so interesting. So as working moms, as you all know, we people, you know, we make up so many excuses. We don't have time to exercise. Who can eat healthy? Are there tips that you can give? Maybe, I don't know, four or five tips that you can give to working moms or to moms or to parents So um, that are easily, that we can incorporate into our... I got to put don't smoke as one of them. Okay. Okay. Eat healthy. So maybe five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables every day. And as a mom, you want to make sure your kids are getting that anyway. So whatever you do, you bring into your household. So that's right. a good a good thing for the whole good family. Mm -hmm. Move, exercise, that's like you said before, as much as you can every day. So even you know, park at the other end of the parking lot, yeah. walk the stairs instead of the elevator. Yeah. So when you're at work, there's a lot of things you can do. Right. Little things, yeah, yeah, a lot of little things, but, but ten they minutes add a day up. Is mm -hmm. enough. You don't have to do. 30 well, you know, minutes. ten minutes is better than zero. That's just I know, a that's starting true. point age. We yeah. take stairs. If you, if you take the stairs, I think that's five. And then take it another time, and then you have ten minutes. Absolutely, all those, all those, all those add up in the course of time. So. You know, because it's hard to carve out, oh, it's a Tuesday, we have basketball practice. It's because you have like three jobs, you're getting your master's. Out, you have, like, but an hour, yeah. to carve out an hour or 30 minutes is sometimes hard. First thing when you wake so, up. So, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. in the morning. Every yeah. single day. Clock, do it, but otherwise, yeah. Yeah. it's like the yeah. day gets tough, away from you. It's hard. Yeah. And then, and then know your numbers. The last thing I would say. Yeah, I don't little know my tips. numbers. I think. So do if you, you all know your numbers? I do. I do. When I, I worked do. at St. Francis, I got all my work up done. And oh, I, you I know. recently went to the doctor for my blood pressure. pressure. And my <laughs> cholesterol's oh, down. Well, so I get my numbers to and I'll get your numbers. Pressure. I'm going like to see your doctor. Well. <laughs> I need my numbers. No, because a lot of uh, corporations and where I work, you know, you get you get, you get get stuff in your HSA, right? If you go yeah, through absolutely. the Yes, you get a $100 bonus. Absolutely. So I know my triglycerides. I know my cholesterol. And I can tell you, I lost about 33 something pounds over the last year and it's from ex all the exercise I do it's it's all the eating the exercise it really is unbelievable and you feel better right and you're more energetic <laughs> totally yeah. so totally. there are all these other little mm -hmm. benefits they get to enjoy it, yes absolutely you know emotionally stress it helps mm -hmm. with everything and you get to live longer to take That's care right. of your kids yeah. I want to live to be like over a hundred so I'm gonna keep and <laughs> go for it. me too I always say a hundred healthy is my goal yeah, yeah. Healthy. Healthy. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm with you so can I ask one more question um, where yes. we have a little bit more time but what is the difference between men and women and having the, and heart disease is so, there a big difference yeah I mean, so there are a lot of differences between men and women but one of the important well, differences know, but sure. I mean, you know. yes, yeah, right. is, is the, the <laughs> symptoms can be different, so I told you about oh, that. Oh, right, exactly. But when we look at the arteries of men and women, even the arteries are a little different. So, mm -hmm. and, and some of the tests we do uh, are a little less sensitive for heart disease in women, a little bit easier to detect heart disease in men. And the reason is because in men along the length of their artery, they'll get discrete stenosis. So they'll get a blockage in just one small area. Women frequently get plaque that builds up along the whole length of the artery. Mm -hmm. So okay. if in the cardiac cath lab we look at the artery by injecting dye into it, it just looks like a slightly smaller artery. You know, we might refer to it as a smaller artery. You might not know that it's actually stenosed along stenosis, its entire right. length. And so these stenoses, these plaques mm -hmm. that build up, put us at high risk, very high risk. So in that way we're very different. And so in the end though, all these wonderful things we can do to stay healthy reduce our risk as much as they do mm -hmm. right. men. So don't be driving near school during drop-off because that can create road rage and stress, <laughs> at least in West Hartford. Yeah. You want to stay away from all the middle schools and high schools during drop-off. Yeah. That is stress. That's Adria's but. number one rule. I love it. You know, um, stress is hard, so how do you get rid of stress in your life? You know, you you got to go to drop-off because you got to pick your kids up. Yeah, yes. those things work. Yeah. They yeah. help yeah, you. You're right. yeah. I yeah. do all those things, yeah. absolutely. But I think absolutely. what you said, how you are going out, your program is going out to the community and spreading education mm -hmm. and awareness. I think, and thank you for coming on, because what we want to do is help educate women in the community about the dangers of things that are happening, like heart disease yeah. in and this how to day prevent and age. It. Absolutely. And it's easily preventable, you said. It, it is. It it's like, very you know, easy to prevent. Simple steps we can all take. 80%. Right. Did you say 80%? 80% wow. of heart attacks could have been prevented. Yeah. See, wow. that's such a <clears throat> large number. Yeah. I mean, it is. that's huge, yeah. So we are going to take so your sad advice. when we see people who have high blood pressure for many years. It's been checked or they're checking, oh my gosh, but they're not doing to anything about it. They're not <laughs> taking their medicines. Right. So after your doctor gives you medicines for your high blood pressure, make sure you check your blood pressure. Yeah. Don't right. well definitely take working. it, but then check your blood pressure and make sure it goes down. Right. And if it doesn't go down, be a squeaky wheel. Tell your doctor it's right. still up. I need to yeah, do something else. Right. And there's all these places around town you can just go and do your own blood yeah, pressure check mm -hmm. at the yes. Walgreens, at yes. the CVS, at the yes. library. I think they have one too. Right. 
Yes, of course. Yeah, Every yeah. time I get yeah, my, yeah. you know, my physical, you to, but yeah. I don't feel like I know all my numbers. So right. this has been very educational. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. We do have a gift for you. A yes, heart, do. A heart, a heart healthy gift. gift. Yay. <laughs> it's not an exercise. Not great for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right. So oh, it's thank wonderful. you so much. And you know thank what we're going to do? We're going to share all of these tips on our social media sites so that we can educate and help other women. We hope you'll come back again. Thank you Maybe for having me. Maybe we'll take a field trip over we'll to visit see you. you. Yes, yes, exactly. Love yeah, that. that. We would, would love thank that. You so thank you again. Thank and we'll you. be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you. So well, we're she back. was wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So, so good tips that we can Informative. Right. Very and, informative. And she just spoke so yeah, even, like, I just, I understood it. You know, yeah. She <laughs> spoke in layman's terms yeah. so you can understand to everybody yeah. I'm just, it's still shocking that in this day and age first of all two things i found shocking that yeah. so many women are still smoking because yeah, i kind of thought that was that. like I thought that was kind of out mm. of fashion yeah mm. i guess no really one wants to smoke and that 80 percent of all heart attacks can be prevented yeah. that was which is so, good news. so let's right. seriously LA, park farther away yeah. walk yeah. take the stairs take the exercise eat fruits and vegetables all keep things. stress down. Go to yoga. Know your numbers. Go to spin with me, girls. Go oh, to spin. Oh, no. That gets my <laughs> no spin. way up and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick to Zumba. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll do yeah, Zumba. More than 10 minutes right, we'll each. More Zumba. than 10 I'm, minutes. I'm on it. I'm on it. But yeah, that was great. And that was so awesome. Good another thing we didn't mention, that February is Valentine's month. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and uh, Valentine's Day. All the lovebirds out there. You're all my sweethearts. You guys are nice. Yeah, we're each other's sweethearts. Yeah, it's the Lovebird Month. So we've got all these great restaurants in town. So maybe some specials. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something on we Valentine's might be going Day. to Playhouse Sun Park yeah. to yes. see right. a fun girls' night mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the show? Right? Um, yeah, 15th, right? February 15th. Intimates. Intimates. Intimates something. On the 15th yes. of February. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll put it on our social feed. Park. But I think. Um, that looks interesting. You know, I think it's fun to go out with girls too, like Galentines. Is that what they yeah. call it? Galentines? Yeah. Galentines. I don't know. No, I haven't heard of Galentines. No. It's a thing. Like it. It's it a, a thing. thing. Gal. It's a going out with girls. Your know about the Galentines. <laughs> okay, we have to have our own Galentines. Then. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So stay tuned. Good. We'll let you know about our Galentines night out. Yeah, and, and other um, stuff we'll be doing. And we're in planning planning mode right now, right? For the for yes. The group, if you have any suggestions. Please share them with us. Share yes. them on our Facebook page. Share them on Instagram with us. Mm -hmm. Email us. If you want to be a guest on the show? We'd or love come to in the have audience. It. Yep, come in the audience. You We're have to bring welcome. us wine. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no, we'll give you wine. Yeah. But yeah. Yes. This has been a great show, yes. ladies. Very nice. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next month. So don't forget, yeah, you, you put, put the time, time in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time out. out. My Galentine's. Hi, my. I'm always the one that finishes. Yeah. Good night. And you snuggle up real tight. They sit in front of your screen, where everything we show is exactly how it seems.